Okay, so we finally got it together, made up a bit of a test bed. This will improve. This is just going to be a quick first run. Um, I'll go through it a little bit as to what we are actually seeing here. This is from the positive terminal of our 24 volt battery bank. We then go through this digital meter down to the motor. I've disconnected the big amp gauge for the time being because it shows very little in the current drawer and it's hard to tell exactly what it's drawing. This is our generator output and this pot here is the uh, big resistance pot for the exciter windings on the generator. Um, this is our on and off button for our motor and this is our on and off for our generator. Our load tonight is just going to be a little teaser load because I want to um, get this set up a little better and show you exactly what happens the heavier the load we put on um, pretty spinny so you'll have to wait for that but uh, you will get a bit of an idea with this little 20 watt load we're going to place on it um, the setup works a little opposite to what you would think as in the way of the generator itself and I mentioned this a little bit when it was actually hooked up to a gasoline engine uh, and that of course is our battery bank we have our motor and our generator is all coupled power into the motor this wire here is to our exciter windings which goes up to that big resistor pot and our ground and the white is from the generator this one here is actually for the electric motor side of the generator which um, when we put power into this one this turned into a motor and used to start the gasoline engine that it was coupled to but um, <coughs> I've mentioned before that for some reason this doesn't seem to have um, a very large effect in the way of um, the lens force bogging the motor down um, especially on light loads so uh, we'll have a look at that throughout the um, project and see where we end up now I have thought about coming out of one side of the motor and going into the motor side of the generator and then back to ground so we'll be doing that as well and uh, see what happens there and then see what happens when we draw power from the generator itself when we have this running as a motor as well so uh, the batteries aren't very healthy but um, I'll recondition them sooner or later uh, like I said in this test we're just going to be driving this little light bulb I don't want to show too much too soon but. Um, We'll see exactly what happens when we start it up. <coughs> um, on our 10 amp scale. We'll hook the system on. You'll see here, when I wind the um, pot down in resistance to lower the resistance in our exciter windings, you can see our amp draw goes up and that's without pulling a load off of the system. So we're actually going to be um, fighting the generator without a load on it to start with. But then it's three point 8.8 8 amps um, that's without the load and the pot wound right off so there's about 5 ohm resistance across that pot at the moment um, it's only very small in value I probably should show you this big wire wound one you probably can't see because it's too dark but anyway Okay, the amps are going down because the batteries are running down, like I said, they're badly sulfated. 
and in need of um, some attention. So now we'll turn our load on. Got the motor drawing now, 3.2, 3.3 amps with the load. Turn our load off. And now the motor drawing 3.6 amps. Switch it back on. So it's interesting, you can actually, well I don't know if you can on the video, but you can actually hear the motor pick up speed when I switch the load on. And then when I switch the load off, you can hear the motor load up. So, uh, that's what we're going to be showing tonight. Uh, or in this video, should I say. My tonight, anyway. And then we will some uh, bigger loads in the next video and I'll show you what happens each time we add a heavier load to the amp drawer. Okay, cheers guys. Okay, we'll throw this little bit on the end of the video. Um, I've replaced the 20 watt bulb, which is this one here, with a 120 watt bulb from a spotlight. One donation from the good old spotlight, and just to show you what happens with a heavier load. So we'll switch the load on. You'll see it come on. You can hear the motor pick up speed, and the current draw drop. And we have a very bright light. with our load off. 3.98 amps. Load on 1.5, 1.6 amps. So um it's actually worked out what's happening here at the moment. A little bit of a surprise coming on in the uh, later videos. But we won't uh, rush into it. We'll go through it step by step and um, see where we end up. Cheers guys.